So we are setting off here in the GLC 63S. And uh, first off, I want to mention this thing. Uh, Sounds pretty cool. And actually, hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over a Mercedes GLC 63S. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to Harrison Imports for giving me some time with this Mercedes. Check out their inventory in the description down below. Let's hop right into the video. So under the hood, we have a twin turbo four liter V8 that has 503 horsepower and then 479 pound feet of torque. Really cool engine and yeah, that's under the hood. Now this video is mainly going to be about driving impressions with this vehicle since it has such a cool powertrain. Uh, but I want to quickly show you guys some uh, key points on the car. So anyways, first off, I love how they double down the Mercedes logo. They're like, you know what? We got to let everyone know it's Mercedes. Also, that logo down below doubles as a sensor, which is great. I've always liked the headlight design on this. I think it looks really cool how it swoops down. Uh, the E-Class has similar lights as well. Got parking sensors on the front end. Love how just aggressive this looks. Got the AMG logo. And uh, overall, the front end of the car is not super shouty, right? It's got some aggressive elements, uh, but it's not like in your face uh, with the aggression. Now, moving on from that, you guys can see the tire and wheel setup here. And this is something that I'm a huge fan of on this particular car because they went for blacked out wheels, which looks great. Uh, it contrasts the white very nicely. And you guys can see we actually have decent amounts of uh, sidewall here on the tires. You can see that they... Uh, have some uh, nice grip as well. So uh, sometimes on these cars, right, they'll go for like the super low profile tires, which, you know, what makes sense for a high performance vehicle, even though it's an SUV. Uh, but, you know, a winter setup like this, I think is fantastic. You guys are wondering, 265 millimeter for the width and then their 20 inch wheels. Got our V8 by Turbo Badge, 4MATIC badge as well. And then popping here to the rear, you guys can see the setup uh, in the rear. Uh, 20 inch wheels as well. Uh, but it looks like we have 295 millimeter tires. <laughs> <laughs> right there and then here's your full side view of the car it has this cool swooping type design again this is the uh, coupe and i don't know i, I think it looks uh, good overall i like how you have the molding that continues all along the side i think that's a good look as well i think you see the spoiler here in the back it's really cool how this like pops out it's really sporty and i've always uh thought the taillights are kind of uh, interesting with the uh look of them and then obviously we got all of our badges so you can flex on everyone the exhaust tips also look really cool got the amg on those really aggressive you can see the diffuser down below and yeah i think it looks great i guess we'll uh, show the storage space so uh, here's the key fob first off got your mercedes key fob with the amg logo there on the back if we hold this down that'll actually pop open the rear really nice with this actually uh, and even this handles very high quality and nice you can see everything that's happening under there got the uh, cargo cover with that which is definitely solid and then uh, notice that you can shut it and then you also lock it there from the rear which is a good feature to have and then popping into the interior this is where it's also really nice uh, so you guys can see here really solid leather and then you've got the stitching that goes throughout and then down below and then it's softer down here so this is a little bit harder to the touch this is uh, definitely more padded and then I love this trim here. Look at the speakers for the sound system. Definitely beautiful with the presentation. And then here are the seats. Notice the uh, coloration on the seat belts. Looks really good. And see the perforated leather with the seats. Got the AMG logo. Notice you got the vents right there for the rear passengers. And then you guys will love the front. So again, just look at the attention to detail. All of the leather trim all over. There's like a million seat adjustments. Heated seats, no cooled seats. Uh, got window controls right here. And again, look at the speakers for the sound system. If you guys are wearing a Spermister, which really high quality sound system. And then here are the seats at the front. Again, AMG logo, really nice bolstering with the seats. And then the pedals look fantastic as well. And let's pop in quickly. Sounds so good just starting up. I love the steering wheel too. So you can see really nice leather here at the top. You got a little marker right there. And you got perfect leather. We're gonna grab it so you get a really good grip. Look at the uh, paddle shifters right there. Uh, they're a big enough size so that they're like always accessible, um, but they're not so massive so that they don't like block the uh, stocks here on either side. And that's obviously how you change the transmission. I really like the gauge cluster as well. I think it's aged very well. You can see there with the uh, carbon fiber, definitely a cool look. And if we actually pop it into reverse, you can see the backup camera, really good resolution, everything. Uh, and you know, I mean, this is from, this is a 2018 and it still looks super modern uh, with everything, even though cars are like exponentially changing. Now, I love all the carbon fiber here in the center stack. And then notice we've got this for the different drive modes. You can see that there's individual comfort, sport, sport plus, and then race. <laughs> try that out today 
Um, and then this is just for the infotainment system, and then the volume control, and then this is for the exhaust to make it louder or quieter. You guys will hear that in the exhaust clip. And then we've got the storage space right here. And then this one has a uh, regular sunroof, not a panoramic, which is kind of uh, interesting. Uh, but anyways, that's everything for our quick uh, overview of this car. Super nice interior, looks great on the exterior. But let's go see how it drives and feel that four liter V8 because uh, they're getting rid of that engine soon. Word on the street. Let's go over visibility before we set off. There's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors, we should have a blind spot. And throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So we are setting off here in the GLC 63S. And uh, first off, I wanna mention this thing. Uh, sounds pretty cool. And actually, let's open up the uh, exhaust. There we go. Gotta have that nice uh, exhaust sound uh, coming through. Um, this definitely uh, feels on the uh, firmer side for an SUV, I will say that. But let's get up on the tarmac and actually see what it's... So responsive. Transmission's super quick. It's really smooth though. So yeah, it's it's on the firmer side in terms of like the handling and everything and... But going over bumps, it doesn't, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. Yeah, so it's actually, it still drives like a really nice luxury vehicle. So that is a huge positive, uh, if you ask me. Super, yeah, it's it's super comfortable. That's great. The transmission is really responsive. Let's actually let's pop it into that race mode. I'll listen to that. <laughs> I love AMG exhausts. Oh, it sounds so good. Just this nice, like throaty, burbly sound. Uh, and there's just there's just not a lot of vehicles that have that uh, character anymore. Uh, so yeah, it'll be it'll be sad to see this um, four liter go. And even the idle sound, it's not annoying. It's just just this nice constant, just uh, you know again throaty sound, which is great. Uh, seat comfort, we got to talk about that. These seats are amazingly comfortable, actually. Uh, the bolstering is really nice, so it holds you in place pretty well. And uh, the cushioning on it's really good. So yeah, these, these are just really comfortable uh, seats. So I think that Mercedes have nailed it. Uh, and you know, in terms of finding a balance between a seat that'll hold you in place well, but then also uh, is just comfortable. Transmissions, uh, responsive, even partial throttle. Just listen to that. <laughs> and this handle's really good. Man, Utah drivers, Utah drivers. Yeah, handles really well. Steering's actually good for an SUV. I just, this is funny, I just drove a 911 Turbo before this, and so like, you know, that car was like the definition of precision. So yeah, I could, this this definitely, uh, I, I can feel some, some lacking compared to a car that is super, super precise, like a 911 Turbo. But I mean, for an SUV, it's actually very precise. Super impressive. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm super impressed with uh, you know, like I said, just the just the overall feel of it, and uh, so I guess that that'll kind of get me into starting to sum things up, and then we'll obviously get a couple of you know real accelerations here in a moment. Uh, once we get to the acceleration zone, is what we will call it. Um, so first off, you know, in terms of the exterior aesthetics, some people love this uh, coupe design, some people don't love it. Um, I think overall, it's I think it looks good. I don't think that it's necessarily like uh, you know a bad aesthetic or anything like that i think it's a good looking vehicle uh, the interior they definitely nailed it the interior is very nice has this upscale feel and look and that's the thing i love about the amgs is they feel like really nice luxury cars from the interior like you can see the dash really nice uh, looking and feeling leather all over uh, and the stitching is really nice and i love the design of the speakers and you just feel like you're in this super nice upscale luxury vehicle when you pop in the interior paddle shifters feel great they're actually metallic as you guys can kind of uh well you, hopefully you guys can see um so the paddle shifters have a great feel to them and they're like the perfect size so you can just wrap uh so you can have like your thumb you know proper driving position right thumbs here and then you can have like a couple of your fingers on the paddle shifters you can have all of them on your on the paddle shifters you're still holding the steering wheel properly 
Uh, so I think that's great what they've done there. And this just feels so responsive. I feel like I'm driving a sports car, but it's an SUV. Like you can see turn in here, super good. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Oh yeah, that pop, that pop, wow. That's a good sound and uh, yeah, man. We of course have this line of cars that's blocking us. So we're gonna drive very, very slow. <laughs> oh, it sounds so good. Yeah, and when you downshift, it just... And the pops you get out of the exhaust are fantastic. Ooh, definitely a great sound. Um, so yeah, I really like this. I like how it drives. So basically, if you want a uh, sports car, pretty much, but you need SUV practicality, that's what this does for you. It handles amazingly well. Uh, it's it's super precise, um, sounds great, looks cool. Uh, and like I said, it gives you that SUV luxury feel and you got the ground clearance of an SUV. Uh, but then, you know, you have handling that's very similar to like a sports car. And you don't necessarily always get that with high performance SUVs. So I think that Mercedes nailed it with this. And so yeah, if you want something like this, Harrison Imports has one. This is a this is fun. This is a surprise. I didn't think I'd like this uh, as much as I do. It's definitely a really cool vehicle. Now that's gonna sum things up for our video on this Mercedes GLC 63S. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to Harrison Imports for giving me some time with the car. Check out the inventory in the description down below. I will see all of you in the next video.